Michael Burke, thank you. Early this morning, another shooting left a man dead, another injured and taken to the hospital. It led to a seven hour shutdown of a stretch of Winchester Road. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky has been out at the scene all morning. She joins us now live with the latest in the big story today at noon. And Dia, this is the third day in a row there's been a fatal shooting here in Lexington. And this morning here on Winchester Road, 35 year old Cyrus Dave Davis was shot and killed. Another man in his 20s was also shot and he is still at the hospital recovering from those wounds. Now Lexington police pulled up on the scene after a call reporting shots fired came in around 2:30 this morning. They found the two victims with gunshot wounds and then they were taken to the hospital. Police spent the morning trying to reconstruct the scene, inspecting piece after piece of evidence scattered all over Winchester Road. Now due to the length of the investigation, Winchester Road remained closed between Loudon Avenue and Liberty Road past the morning rush hour for a total of nearly eight hours after eight people report were reportedly shot this week in Lexington during shooting incidents and three of the victims died. Lexington police tell us that they've been looking into whether or not these incidents are connected. It's obviously a concern um, for us and you know, trying to be able to tie things together. I, I know one thing everyone is concerned about is are these related? We don't know yet. Um, I've had people already that I've talked to. I'm worried about the random shootings and you know, very truly, it does not appear these are random. Okay, this is not a situation where um, someone is sitting in, in a car and randomly someone comes up and shoots at them. These are more targeted, um, which in some ways hopefully will give some solace. Now we're told Lexington police will continue to investigate both the evidence and the other information that they've gathered here at what was the scene just a short time ago as they try to find the shooter. Live in Lexington, Klerkowski, LEX 18 News.